In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to merge two sections of a scanned uh, uh, pencil drawing on a photo enlargement. So let's just open both sections in Photoshop. Uh, as you can see, this is a vertical inscription which has a top and a bottom part. And uh, as you can see as well, that there are some overlapping areas here, and we will use these areas to uh, align, merge the two sections. So let's just pick one of these images as our base image. This will be the one where we will merge the other one into. So let's, because it's a vertical inscription, let's just pick uh, the top one as our base image and go to image canvas size and change the canvas size to uh, a size which can accommodate this uh, other section. So obviously we'll need more room at the bottom. So therefore we have to change the height, but we also going to change the width as well, since uh, as you can see the scanning uh, wasn't perfectly aligned horizontally and vertically, therefore we need some rotation uh, later on as well. So, since we need more room on the bottom, let's just change the height to uh, 20 centimeters. And by changing the anchor to uh, this position, will mean that you are going to add to the bottom of the image, but not to the top. As you can see by these grabbing this or hitting these arrows, you can uh, add to uh, a specific direction the canvas. So this is very important uh, if you don't want to end up with a large uh, uh, margin around your, your photo. The width should be changed as well. So let's just change it to 15 for now. We can always add more later. Hit OK and let's go and see what we've done. So this is our new uh, base image uh, in the new canvas. So we don't really need to do anything else right now, but uh, hit the move tool in Photoshop and uh, grab, hold and grab the other uh, image over our uh, base image. As you can see, this is sort of how it's going to work. And as you can see, they have some misalignment uh, issues right now. So let's just focus on uh, merging the two first. Uh, to be able to see our base image through our uh, new uh, lower sections, uh, we have to make it uh, transparent. And as you can see, our new uh, lower section became a layer in its own and our original base image became the background and it's logged right now which is good for now so let's just change this new layer opacity to 50 percent as you can see we can immediately see uh, all sorts of details of the base image under our new section let's uh, zoom in a little bit and have a look at how it looks like maybe it doesn't have this much and as we go back to the move tool you can see that uh, if i'm trying to match or actually find matches uh, better carried out by using the arrow keys on your keyboard so i'm going to push the arrow keys a little bit and move around focusing to this area right here because uh, it's always good to find a little uh, angular thin uh, line, uh, a peak or something to, to uh, try to find an exact match of the two images. Uh, as you can see, this is perfect uh, at this point, but everywhere else it's quite a bit off. And as I move downwards, you can see how, for example, this hieroglyph is completely misaligned its uh, counterpart. So what we can do right now is use our rotate 
transformation to match up the direction of the base image and the lower section. So to carry that out, we go to Edit, Transform, and Rotate. And we have to zoom out a little bit. I'm using the little pyramid icons right here because as we are in, uh, uh, but as we are using the tra the transform uh, commands right now, we can't use the zoom uh, uh, at the same time. So go to rotate, zoom out. A little more and you can see that uh, our rotation uh, handles appear around the area uh, com that, that contains our uh, uh, lower uh, section. It has a center point and this center point can be moved and this uh, determines the center where the rotation is based uh, Around. So if I move the center point to this little section here, which was aligned already with our base image, it means that our entire rotation will be based around this point. And this is exactly what we need when we're trying to match up uh, the two images. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and go to one of these uh, corner handlebars and start my rotation slowly, slowly. As you can see, it's as it comes closer to our image, uh, our double vision suddenly disappears and uh, it gets uh, pretty close to where we want it to be. Let's just move out a little bit and see how the pencil lines uh, line up. Well, it's actually pretty close. If uh, you have uh, difficulties seeing uh, the two lines together, you can always come to the side and see if some horizontal or vertical uh, lines have any misalignments, so you can actually have a little extra fine movement here. And you can also uh, use, you know, changing the, the coordinates or, or the um, uh, angle uh, by numerical uh, entries uh, to refine your rotation. But for now it seems to be actually pretty good. So I'm going to say, okay, just hit any other uh, icons in the toolbar and say apply. So it applies uh, your rotation. Um, it seems to be pretty much aligned. So let's just uh, move the opacity back to 100 and see what we've got here. As you can see, there is a wide margin on top which means that uh, some of our uh, top layers, uh, white border, which uh, came from scanning, overlaps um, the base image. So we want to get rid of this part. And how that happens is that you actually start erasing from your top image. And for that, I'm going to use a fairly large eraser something like this, maybe a little smaller. And I'm going to also change the hardness to 50% so it doesn't become a straight line at the edges of our eraser, but rather blends the two in the two layers together. So let's just have a look. Ah, it's going pretty well. I'm going to erase uh, to see some of this uh, top layer. And that actually means that uh, I'm uh, adding to this sections, section the, the, the bottom, the base images uh, uh, substance to, to, to my uh, overall uh, image. 
So let's just zoom into this uh, critical area where we match the two together. Well, it seems pretty good actually. So I'm going to just uh, make it fit screen again, zoom out a little bit and have a look at the overall image. I'm very satisfied with my uh, merge. So let's uh, uh, merge the two layers now. To this is always your very final movement. Uh, once you're satisfied with all the results and you don't want to modify it further on, then uh, you can uh, merge the two layers by going to layer and say uh, merge visible, which will merge your top layer into the background and as you can see now, you have one layer and that's called background. Always make sure before this merging happens that both layers, or if you have more than two, all your layers of opacity are 100. So, uh, because if the opacity is 50 percent uh, or any other number, when you merge the two layers together, that opacity for that specific part will be kept as part of the final version. Now all we have to do is rotate our image to the desired vertical and horizontal alignment. For that I call up a little helper and that's in view and show and we're gonna show the grids around our area. As you can see this grid is vertical and horizontal, uh, some of vertical and horizontal lines uh, in specific distances. So let's just uh, rotate uh, our image around this area. I'm going to select this entire area and uh, just like that and uh, go to edit, uh, transform and rotate again. And I'm going to start rotating my image and uh, see when I'm satisfied with my rotation. Uh, this seems pretty good. Can uh, zoom in a little bit, not this much obviously, but we can zoom in a find a few vertical and horizontal areas to see uh, if it matches up with uh, my grid. Well, it seems pretty good, so let's just zoom out one more time and see the vertical and horizontal areas. I'm going to change just a little bit more towards the sides, so this is pretty good actually at the moment. So let's just hit OK and apply our rotation. And now we can deselect the area by hitting the deselect button or go to select and deselect. And of course if we don't need the grid anymore we can go to grid or just hit command G and get rid of our grid. Now all we have to do is crop the area uh, to approximately to the size of our image because we don't need extra wide margin around or if you do you can you know always uh, change that but for now this is what we're going to do just hit OK and uh, let's get rid of this little guideline here and uh, now we have our final merged uh, image so this is pretty much what you do if you have more than one sections to merge what you can do is uh, start over the entire process with this new image being your base image go to image canvas size add to the bottom move and grab over the next section and add just the way as you did on this one